Welcome back everyone, Liquor Hound here once again at the WSWA 75th Anniversary Exposition. And I am joined today by Frank Marino of John Drew Brands. Welcome Frank. Thank you so much for having me, Chris. And the one thing I wanted to have him here to talk about was his spirits, because when I went into their booth, it's unlike any other booth you'll see here. Uh, it's very hip and trendy and kind of like graffiti art. It's very, very cool. And when I tasted it through the spirits, I was really amazed at the quality of product as well. So. I wanted him to kind of walk me through a tasting and we'll go through some notes and stuff like that, but feel free. Well, thank you for that introduction, Chris. Yeah, we, we did have a pretty popping booth yeah. at um, on the main floor yeah. and it was a lot of fun. We, you know, we like to keep the party going. You right. know where our roots are. Our roots come from Drew Estate Cigars. Our founders, the founder of Drew Estate, 1996, came out with like pretty much like the break the mold type company exactly. in the cigar industry. Uh, with, without any real cigar heritage, it kind of built up, built us up into the second largest uh, cigar manufacturer in the world, you know, That's for amazing. premium cigars. So this is our step into the premium spirit space because what goes better with cigars than, great than spirits. phenomenal spirits? Exactly. Yes. So let's walk through the line. Okay. Um, just a little quick, John Drew Brands. We're representing yeah. like three, three major uh, products that we brought to the market: the Dovetail Rum. Mm -hmm. Uh, the John Drew, the signature line, right. and then Brixton Mash Destroyer. Okay. And we'll, we'll taste through them Perfect. and we'll talk a little bit about them. So, right. um, are you ready? Yeah, That's I'm the ready. question. All I'm right. Ready. So, first one I'm going to start with, I'm going to start with the Florida rum. Okay. Florida rum, 100% Florida sugarcane, blackstrap molasses. Nice. Distilled and then aged for four years and uh, two years in bourbon barrels. Okay. Right in the center of Florida. And the one thing I will say is when I first tasted this spirit, I was almost blown away by the amount of bourbon barrel influence and it was a really tasty bourbon barrel influence not just oak very very sweet and complex so like always we want to yes. want to take a look at the color first it's, it's, it's a nice like medium amber yes. real nice you want to take a little smell it's going to have that that rum profile right off the nose mm -hmm. and then you want to take a little sip all right So as you said, you, you, you get that bourbon, um, yeah. get that bourbon cask in it right in the mouth, right to start. It is a, a slightly sweeter style of rum, but it's very, very viscous and mouth coating. It's not cloyingly sweet by any means. It's very, very enjoyable. Uh, the caramel and vanilla really pop. That vanilla, that bourbon barrel vanilla is just popping throughout. Absolutely. So one of the signature things is like, we, we this ends up being almost like a Spanish style rum. Okay. You know, nice. um, but it's not done in the Solera method. It's right. just, it's just, aged and this is wonderful. They've done a great job on the blend. Mm. In the same family of, of Florida Dovetail, we launched um, and we're kind of like this is our coming out party Perfect. for Dovetail Puerto Rico. Let's go ahead and put these so in. we take we take the Florida Blackstrap Molasses. Nice. It goes down to Puerto Rico. Okay. And there um, we distilled it. Okay. But then we aged it four years in, right. in bourbon barrels as well. Okay. Just a little bit longer aging. And then you, you're going to start picking up some of the notes that that little extra aging time. Right. How it affects the spirit itself. And I'm still chewing on that two year old. It's amazing. It's still um, going. Great compliment. Uh, yeah. You know, like all good spirits are, are great compliments for cigars. Right. But that one's a really nice one. If you've got like a spicy, um, kind of something like maybe like medium to full bodied, yeah. maybe something with a little bit of spice on it, okay. you definitely want that to kind of reset the palate, kind nice. of bring it down, because it gets gets in there, it's nice and sweet, kind of resets it going forward. All right. Now let's check out the Puerto Rico. So right. sal as they say in Puerto Rico, salud. Salud. So Ooh. first off the nose, what, what are you getting there, Chris? This one's more uh, fruity, almost like a tropical fruit element going tropical on. Tropical fruit, yes. And I would say if I was trying to pick out the exact fruit, wow, what is that? Maybe, what do you think that is? A guava or a papaya? Well, you, you're gonna, you know, as that sugar ferments, right. as that sugar gets distilled, and then the sugar ages, you're gonna start picking up, in certain parts you get that floral part, you get some of the fruitier parts. And, right. And some of the things you pick up a little bit, some of that orange, a little bit of orange, citrus, you know, yes. a little bit of citrus, and then you kind of follow it with some of like, maybe a little pineapple, maybe a little, you know, um, you called it, it was mango, yeah. and, you know, something in the family of, the of, of one fruits. of the sweeter fruits. Yeah, you know? and it was like almost like, a, now that I'm nosing it more, I'm getting, like you mentioned, the orange, the citrus element. It's almost like an orange marmalade coming through. Right, so now All you right. want to take that sip? I definitely do.
equally viscous, more floral pop. Yeah. Wow, it's really nice. Now wait on, on that back end there. And then you start to notice the, the, the significant differences, right. even though they're, they're, they're come from the same, like same starter, right. they actually end up being very different on the back end. Yeah, this, this, yeah, exactly. I was getting like almost like that, the sweetness profile is similar, but the floral and the, the tropical fruitiness on this one is much different. And then you're gonna get some of that vanilla way at the back end, and then you've got like that oakiness that kind of closes it out. Where this is a, a longer finish coat in the palette, this one's a little uh, drier, okay. a little oaky at right. the very, very tail end. Pick that up. And then, um, then it closes out nice and neat. Makes you want to take another sip. Yeah, I already did. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, yeah. excellent. Lovely. Well, Great cheers products. on that. I mean, we, we really love our dovetail rums. Just a beautiful product that, you know, we're, we're just happy to bring out. And, and, and you know, you know, John, yes. our, our founder, you know, he likes making things that people that people enjoy. You know, we, we want you to, to consume Dovetail Rum with your friends, you know, give them around, light up some cigars, and, um, and probably knock down that bottle or two. Well, all right. <laughs> so next up, we have our, our signature, that, that John Drew, that John Drew Collection Rye. And John Drew Rye is actually a four-year-old Canadian rye, 100% mm -hmm. Canadian rye, aged in lightly toasted oak. Right. And from what I understand, it's 95% rye, right? 5% yeah. Well, rye. it's actually 100% Canadian oh, rye, okay. 95 rye, 5% right. Canadian malted rye. Okay. Oh, excellent. And um, nice. little little shout out to our cigar heritage with with the band here. Beautiful. And um, this this is uh, this is what JD wanted to to bring to the whiskey world. Right. Um, and, and and we'll walk you through this. And what's the differences? What All are right. the differences uh, in in this rye? Right, uh, makes it kind of special and, okay. and wonderful. So, like all good things, um, always admire. Yes, you know, take a, take a take a little whiff, reset that nose. And what are you getting on on your nose? It's like a rye, like a yeasty rye bread. It's very very nice. Right. The, the younger doughy. the rye, you still pick up, you know, you, you, you kind of start losing that after like four years. You start okay. losing that little bit of that yeast, which is endemic to like something that's coming right off the still. I'm but, enjoying it. <laughs> but you still get a little bit of that. Caramel. And then you're, you're going to get like a little, little bit of that, maybe a little caramel, maybe yeah. a little bit of sweetness. That it's kind of very, very light in the tail end on the nose. And then, um, you know, the best part. The taste. I, I, love, I love smelling them, but, but yeah. tasting them is so much better. <laughs> Let's so, check uh, it. cheers. Cheers. Thank you. Mm. Wow. It's got a lot going on. So, and I'm glad you said that. There's a lot going on here. The one major element that, that, you, that we're missing here, right. which is endemic to all rice, mm -hmm. is we're missing black pepper. Mm. Without that black pepper and that heavy like spice bite, right. it actually opens up to what all other ryes really have, which okay. is that 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 um, baking spices. You know, right. all the baking spices that are in there: cinnamon, nutmeg, clove, allspice. All, all those things start to pop on on the tongue. They maybe, you, and then you start going into like you get like little banana -y type stuff. But really, it's it's the baking spices that that make our rye special. Right. I was going to say, the one thing that I noticed right away when I took it in was almost like a very enveloping butterscotch note that was kind of laying the foundation for everything else. So we get that butterscotch, and you know, like butterscotch can be sweet. Mm -hmm. So we get that little, little bit of sweetness, but it's not, like you said, not cloying. Right. But it just opens up all the other layers of flavors, and that's what we're talking about. Like, there's a lot going on in there. That's great. And, and then, like, most ryes have it. They have all those spices, they have right. all those spices going on, but it's kind of hard getting over that really high alcohol right. and then that really high black pepper. And this so, is bottled at 90 proof? It's 90 proof. Perfect. These wow. two were at 80, but this one's 90. They all drink well, very, very well, as far as being great drinkers. So, yeah, uh, great yeah to, to, to John Drew John on that Drew. one, you know, he uh, blew it out of the park. He did, great job. Last but definitely not least, um, I want to introduce to you our Bricks and Mash Destroyer. This is the first blend of Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey right. and Florida rum. Okay. <laughs> so Very unique. You, you know uh, when, when we're talking about Drew Estate, when we're talking about John Drew, 
um, what he meant to the cigar world. Right. And and we kind of chatted a little bit about it. Yeah, because he really changed kind of the game whenever he was introducing into cigars because he didn't uh, just kind of, he didn't come from generations of cigar makers and stuff. He kind of had to enter into the industry and just kind of do something new and do something different, kind of breaking the mold. And I think that's what he's trying to do here with this one because this has never been done, correct? That's correct. So he's a category creator and Bricks and Mash really is out there creating a brand new category of spirits. We're taking two wonderfully aged spirits right. and then we're actually blending them together. Okay. It took a while to get here. As, as director of brand development, it took us a while to get here where you could actually get both spirits, get them both in the mouth, get them both on the palate, not at the same time, and, right, and right. you'll see what I mean by all that. Right, all right. So, um, you know, let's, let's always start with, yes. a little, with a little swirl. It's got just a nice light, light amber color. Right. And then you want to take that first, uh, that's that first sniff. Wow. Now this one, you know, it, it feels a little bit hot on the nose, you know, but it, we couldn't call it Destroyer if it was ultra smooth. You know, it, it is a little aggressive right off the bat, but then you'll see how it starts to develop on on. Well, the thing I the pick up unrepeated. right away is banana nut bread coming uh, through on the nose. Good call on that. Wow. People go like, what, what is that odor? You know, like, and yeah, then like, it's like, it. it reminds me of something baked. So, yeah. um, so All great right. call on that. And you do get like a real like banana like yeah. blast in there. It's very nice. It's not, it's not, you know, since it is the first time this has ever been done, it's not like I can go, oh, this very much reminds me of this, you know, because it's its own kind of spirit, but it's not, it actually starting to work, you know what I mean? It's kind of right. unique. Um, we're, we're trying to get you to, to experience something brand new. So it's, right. it's hard to compartmentalize like where this should go. <laughs> right. Is this a rum? Is this a bourbon? It's, it's actually both, so we're creating something that's brand new All right. on that. So Again. Uh, first, like we do with Brixton, for people that are getting introduced to Brixton, is say, hey, take take one sip, take it in, get a little air in there, then think about it, take a second sip, okay, and then start to work it out that way. So let's, right. let's go two sips on this. Okay. Start thinking about what's happening on your palate, you know, in the order of flavor. From front palate to mid palate to the end. Okay. And then you want to go in there for that second sip. Yeah, it almost starts like a rum. Okay. But then it starts leaning on the bourbon on the finish. So you start getting the the depth of the bourbon, the oak coming through. Absolutely. Yeah. Beautiful. Wonderful so sweetness. It kinda, yeah, it kind of takes you on this ride. Um, where some palettes are, are, are going rum first, right. and then they, they're going, oh, and it finishes like like really oaky bourbon, and some palettes are going, I'm, I'm getting bourbon right up front, wow. and then I'm, I'm wrapping it up with that little rum sweetness on the tail end. So okay. we took a high rye bourbon on this okay. to kind of match it with, with the, the rum, and tried to get it to that point where you're getting all of it on the palate, so. And it does kind of keep transitioning. So like you were mentioning, like initially when I tasted it, I thought rum at first, and then I started kind of seeing the, the bourbon develop, but now on the long back end of the finish, I'm starting to focus more back on rum again. Right. So it is kind of just it, it always transitioning. It, it, it takes you on this trip. So now let, let's take that trip one step further. So if you don't mind just grabbing the ice bucket behind yeah, yeah. you. There we go. So um, what I'd like to do right now is, is maybe get a, get a couple cubes in there. Okay. And I'll get a couple cubes on in mine. Perfect. Make a little yeah, mess there. That's all right. But um, what I want you to do is uh, let, let's swirl it a little bit. Okay. And what I want to show you is what what chilling and dilution will do to uh, bricks and mash. All right. And now you want to take a little sip on that, and then tell me where you're going. I would think it would like really dilute it really fast, but it's not. It's just still hanging on to the. Again, banana nut bread that was coming through right. on the nose, kind of coming through on the palate. So typically what I found is like somewhere in that mid palate, we started to see um, the spirit actually change. Remember, we're taking distillate of grain and we're taking a distillate of grass. And right. we're, you know, we're marrying them together. We're kind of forcing them to live together in this bottle. And um, every time we introduce a modifier, be it, um, be it uh, an acid factor like lime or lemon right. uh, or uh, another liquor modifier, okay. the actual product starts to change. 
and it starts to change, it starts to interact slightly differently. So um, I taste like mint cocoa, you know, like dry cocoa that kind of kicks in right in that mid palate. Okay. You know? Um, kind of like it feels like it gets really dry and then boom, you're back at the sweetness. When we took bricks to mash, we knew these were going to be great sippers and they were going to be wonderful in cocktails. Right. Um, but we, I really wanted this one to, to be uh, what I called a, a new crayon for uh, for bartenders, something okay. to experiment with, yeah. something for you to take home and start making not, not only all the classic rum cocktails, all the classic bourbon cocktails, but start to, to think about how you could play around with this in, in different applications. And, right. and we're happy that there's a lot of people in the market that are looking at, at Bricks to Mash and going, man, this is really cool. <laughs> really I, I cool. can't wait to make a drink with it. So it's we're really cool. happy with it. So well, cheers and thank you. So cheers. Yeah, so much for joining me. Mm. I want to thank you for, for having John Drew Brands and, and me as uh, Director of Brand Development. I'm also like the National Ambassador. Wow. I could call myself global because we are distributed in Nicaragua, so now awesome. we're beyond awesome. the borders of, uh, so I got it. I'm still waiting on that pay raise, but we'll, you know, we'll, we'll talk about that later. Once again, I wish you great success and thank you for joining me. Thank you, Chris. Yes, thank sir. you for having us. Yes. And if you're out there and you happen to see the John Drew brand spirits out there, don't be afraid to pick them up. I actually think they're very high quality all through the range. Uh, the Brixton Mash Destroyer is definitely unique and different, uh, but like I said, it was very, very enjoyable. Even on the rocks, it doesn't you know, wash away. It was really, really tasty. So again, thank you for joining me once again. Everybody have a great day and cheers.